Guess what, folks? Apple just dropped the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus bombshell, and the big news is they finally ditched the old lightning connector in favor of the more widely used USB-C port. It's about time, right? We've all been waiting for this day to come. Apple had already spilled the beans that they'd be making the switch to USB-C to play nice with the European Union's new rules, and the iPhone 15 is the first one to hop on the USB-C train. Now, let's talk money. The iPhone 15 starts at $799 for the 128GB version, and if you want the iPhone 15 Plus with the same storage, you'll be shelling out $899. Mark your calendars because both of these bad boys will hit the shelves on September 22nd, and you can start pre-ordering this Friday. Alright, folks, here's the scoop on the iPhone 15. While it's super cool that they finally brought in the USB-C port, if you were hoping for a whole new look, well, that's a no-go this year. The iPhone 15 and 15 Plus pretty much keep the same design as the iPhone 14, with the same 6.1 inch and 6.7 inch screens, and they're all rocking that dynamic island thing, which you might remember from the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. It's that pill-shaped cutout that lets you see notifications and play around with apps in a new way. Now, the big highlight is the iPhone 15's OLED Super Retina display. It's got support for Dolby Vision content and packs a punch with 1,600 nits of brightness. When the sun's blaring down, it can even crank up to a crazy 2,000 nits, that's twice as bright as the iPhone 14. But here's where things get really interesting, the camera. The iPhone 15 and 15 Plus have seriously upped their camera game. The main camera now rocks a whopping 48 megapixels, a massive leap from the 12 megapixel one on the iPhone 14. There's also a 12 megapixel ultra-wide camera that can handle zooming, and they've made portrait mode way smarter so you don't have to mess with it manually anymore. Apple's also jazzed up the night mode, live photos, and action mode in the iPhone 15's camera. And if you're all about those selfies, the front camera has autofocus and portrait lighting, so your selfies are gonna look top-notch. Say cheese! Okay, so here's the deal with the iPhone 15. Apple's juicing up the chip inside and slapping in the A16, the same one they used in last year's iPhone 14 Pro models. And guess what? They're boldly claiming that the iPhone 15 will give you all-day battery life thanks to a bigger battery. But hold on, there's more. They've also stuffed in a second-gen ultra-wideband chip, just like the fancy new Apple Watch Series 9. This means your device can talk to other gadgets from farther away, and it does some cool stuff with Find My, making it super easy to pinpoint your pals if they're rocking the latest iPhone 15. Speaking of last year's iPhone 14, it pretty much copied the iPhone 13's look. No mini version, but they did toss an emergency SOS, a nifty emergency messaging system that kicks in via satellite when you're in a cell signal dead zone. And the fun doesn't end there. Alongside the iPhone 15, Apple's rolling out the brand new Apple Watch Series 9. It's got an upgraded chip for better graphics, the same second gen ultra wideband magic, a cool double tap feature, and a bunch of other cool stuff. It's like a tech buffet, folks.